India's territory of Jammu and Kashmir is all set to host a three-day G20 meeting starting today. This will be the third G20 tourism working group meeting which starts today. A number of production companies and industry giants such as Netflix, Dharma Productions and Fiki will be participating in a panel discussion and a draft national strategy on movie tourism will also be chalked out. Now, the movie tourism for economic growth and cultural preservation is also on the agenda for the first half of the meet. The forum is a part of India's efforts to focus on promoting Jammu and Kashmir is as a destination for film tourism. The meeting is also set to focus on five key aspects, which are tourism, green tourism, skills, MSMEs and destination management. A panel discussion featuring speakers from 17 registered G20 member countries and invited countries will take place. The participants will brainstorm and shed light on the country's specific challenges and their learnings on promoting places and destinations with the help of these kind of movies. Now, these priorities are being seen as a key building block for accelerating the tourism sector and achieving the 2030 Sustainable Development Goals. However, this is the first time that an international event in Jammu and Kashmir is taking place after the Indian government scrapped its special status in 2019. The officials say that hosting the event in Srinagar will send an important message to the world that JNK is an integral part of India. Meanwhile, China declined to attend the meeting, calling Kashmir a disputed area. China did not attend the meetings in Arunachal Pradesh or Ladakh either. These comments drew a sharp response from India, claiming it is free to hold the G20 meetings anywhere in its territory. Meanwhile, Turkey, Saudi Arabia and Egypt are also refraining from attending the meeting in Srinagar, which experts assume is due to similar reasons as given by China. India has called out Pakistan's attempts to stop OIC leaders from attending the G20 in Jammu and Kashmir. Turkey, Saudi Arabia and Egypt are all members of the Organization for Islamic Cooperation. However, other OIC members like Bangladesh, Indonesia, Oman and UAE have confirmed their participation in the upcoming event. For more on this, our correspondent Idris Lohan has sent us this report from Srinagar. Take a look. Kashmir is hosting G20's working group meeting on tourism starting from today. Security remains one of the major concerns uh, for the government of Jammu and Kashmir and that is why there is a three-tier security system in place across uh, the uh, Union territory of Jammu and Kashmir. If we talk about Srinagar city, uh, the huge number of police and paramilitary forces all across the city, uh, barricading has been done at every nook and corner. The venue where the G20 meeting is to be held has been completely sealed uh, and the first line of security has been given to Indian Army's NSG. Uh, for the first time ever, the Indian Marine, uh, Indian Navy's Marine Commandos are also being used to uh, secure the parameters of Dal Lake on the banks of which the venue is. Uh, we've also seen huge number of police and paramilitary forces on the ground uh, to make sure that the event goes through peacefully. On the other side, the government of India has said that maximum number of registrations have of attendees from various countries have uh, have, have uh, been placed for this event. So they're expecting around 150 people uh, to attend uh, the meetings over the next uh, three days. The main uh, topics on which the discussions would be held would be eco-tourism as well as film tourism. Jammu and Kashmir uh, government has already a film policy in place and uh, one window approval for the filmmakers who want to shoot in Kashmir Valley. And they have also added 300 new destinations wherein film crews from across the world can come and shoot across the valley. With video journalist Feroz Idris Sloan for Beyond World is One.